Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Um, yesterday I showed you this card. It was for a blog hop um, where the theme was all things Christmas. Um, or was it just Christmas? I'm doing so many Christmas blog hops at the moment. I'm losing track. Anyway, it was to do with Christmas. And this is the card that I um, presented for that blog hop. I used these gorgeous dies. There's loads in the set. Can you see? I can't tell you how many there are. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, and seven, eight, nine, nine, twenty, one, two, two, three, two, four. Um, so twenty-four dies, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so um, sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted. I just got a message through on my iPad. Um, so anyway, so we're going to make this card today. I made this with silver foil from the twelve by twelve silver foil pack that was in the mini catalogue. Christmas mini catalogue. Today I'm going to change it up and I'm going to make it in copper. I haven't used copper for a long time. So let's have a look. So we're going to, because it's copper, I've already die cut all the pieces that we need. I never think that's very um, interesting on a video. I know I could fast forward it. So I've got all the pieces. So I've got those little pieces. So you actually do get five of those so that you can just cut them all out at once. Then I've used the little star that goes in the middle, this one. And then I've obviously used one of the stitched stars. I think it was the biggest one. Use the biggest stitch star um, to do that. I love this set. It's really lovely. And I haven't used it nearly enough. I say that about all my sets. I've got so many things that I, I, I never use anything enough, really. Right, OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to take... This is cinnamon cider, which I decided was the closest colour to copper. So I'm just looking for my trimmer. Here we go. So how is everyone doing with their Christmas preparations? This I'm. This is half a sheet of A4. I've cut it in half and I'm going to score it at ten and a half or four and an eighth if you're um, wanting to do imperial. So that's our card blank. And I'm going to use very vanilla on this today rather than... Um, hang on, I've got to find it. Pacific. Um, rather than um, whisper white, basic white, I'm going to use um, very vanilla. I hope you can still hear me. I'm just over the other side of the room finding the cardstock. Oh, that'll do. It's not quite. Um, so what we need to do, because this measures just a smidge, and oh no, it's 15. I'm going to trim this down to 14 and a half. Actually, I'm going to do 14.4 just to be a little bit controversial so that it'll have a three millimeter border around there. And then this way, I need to do, do it down to nine, nine. And I'm hoping that will fit. And I'm gonna do another one because I'm gonna need to put one inside as well. So I'll just do another one while I'm at it. And that piece of cardstock can be what I print my, what I stamp my greeting on. There we are. Right, okay. So, I'm hoping this star will just fit on. Did on my other piece. Yes, look, can you see? It just fits on there. Got some marks there on there that I got off um, from when I die cut it. Must have been some marks on my, on my mat. Right, okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to take our Tombow. And we are going to take our bone folder two essential tools so if you're thinking about um what you need in your essential craft kit those would be my essentials right okay there we go and just glue around the edges and bit in the middle and then either with a cocktail stick or with one of these people are always asking me where I get this from whenever I feature it on a video my good friend Jez bought me mine um, but it was from a pack of three that she got on Amazon if you google silicone brushes and they're actually in the makeup section I think they might be for coloring hair or doing something like that um, but they're they're in the makeup they're not in the craft section they're in the makeup section but if you Google silicone brushes, you should um, find them on Amazon. And that's fairly 
global, isn't it? So I don't need to give you any other supplies. Like while I'm gluing, I'm just going to glue um, the panel inside as well. So yes, I was asking about Christmas preparations. I had a blitz the last couple of days. I actually had a little bit of time. And so I sat down by the, my, nobody ever sends me a Christmas list about what they want until much later than I want them to. But finally, I had managed to get a um, Christmas list off everybody. And I just sat and went online and just bought what I needed to buy. So I think I've got everything. I've just got a couple of little bits to get from my mum, which I will nip into town to get tomorrow. And then I am done, I think. So that's good. December, this, this early part of December is always quite a sad time for me because it's this time of year. My dad died on the 6th of December two years ago. So it's always a bit bittersweet, really, the run up to Christmas and getting excited. I'm so looking forward to seeing all my children over Christmas with their partners. It's going to be eight of us on Christmas Day, which after last year, when there was only the two of us rattling around here, is going to be just fantastic. I'm just looking forward to it so much. Um, and I'm just praying that in between times, none of us goes down with COVID, meaning we've got to isolate. So I'm being pretty careful about what I do. Um, I'm not going to lots of crowded places um, and I'm wearing a mask whenever possible. So, but I'm just so looking so forward to it. But like I said, the early part of December is a bit bittersweet for me because my dad died and I've been thinking about him a lot recently. My mum, um, who has dementia, was married to my dad for 66 years. Um, still doesn't really remember that he's died, um, which is so sad um doesn't really remember she she kind of knows that there was a person that she should miss but she doesn't really relate it to my dad it's a horrible disease dementia anyway while i've been rambling away i've stuck my biggest card towards the top because i want to get a greeting on the bottom and then i put glue on the back of the the detailed star and that's just going to pop in the middle there you need to be a little bit careful with this one because um you don't want lots of glue sp sp spilling out so that's why i used a cocktail stick um which i find easier than the than the silicon um brush to do little things right i'm then going to take a pair of tweezers to do these little ones because these are so tiny so little dabs I'm just putting little dabs of Tombow on each of these and they just somehow bring it all to life these little bits they just they're just so sweet so just position that there and another one much easier to do if you've got a pair of tweezers I have to say Shame that Stampin' Up! don't sell tweezers, really. There's a lot of things I can suggest. I think they ought to sell tweezers. I think they ought to sell the adhesive eraser that they used to sell, which was great. Um, I've also got a sand eraser that I use a lot, which helps to get rid of any stray ink marks. You can just rub and it they will come off eventually. Um, I think Stampin' Up! could do with selling those. Um, what else? Um... Of something else, I can't remember what it was now. Um, but of course, they have to keep you know a reins on their inventory because they can't store everything. There's the way warehouses have a, a limit of what they can store, which is why things have to retire after each catalogue. I'm sure Stampin' Up would love to keep everything current, but it's just not possible um, with the storage in the warehouses, which I imagine is quite expensive as well. There we go, that's one, and then we're going to do the last one. Such a simple little card to put together this. Just die cuts, mostly. Um, and then just a, an embossed, heat embossed um, message. And I am using the greeting from snowman season and i've got it out here there we are i knew i had it out here soon snowman season this one here just a nice nice font nice greeting so i'm just gonna use my bone folder to press that down a little bit it seems to be sticking up you can use your bone folder a bit there that's all the star done though 
And if you use a little damp bit of tissue, if you have got any glue marks, you can just get it off. I'm just wetting my finger here, but you can use a little bit of tissue to do that. It's quite a nice colour, that, isn't it? Quite like that. Um, yeah, now we're going to do the greeting. So here's my piece of um, very vanilla. And I'm just going to use my... Oh, this is the other thing. Yes, embossing buddy. This is the other thing that was... This is a Stampin' Up! one. They used to sell them, but they took them out of the catalogue for some reason. I don't know why, because I would have thought, you know, anyone starting stamping, that's one of the essential tools that they need. Um, so to me it seems a bit foolish, but I guess they know what they're doing. Right, so I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas on here. And then I'm going to grab my heat gun so it'll be a bit noisy for a couple of seconds. So just talk amongst yourselves while I do this. Oh, I'm put the, let's put the embossing powder on first, shall we? You can tell I'm not really with it today, can't you? There we go. Nice. Not a colour I use a lot, actually, copper. Um, and I've forgotten that copper foil sheets were still in the catalogue, actually. I know gold were, but I'd forgotten that copper were as well. So this is the Stampin' Up! heat gun. If you haven't got one, if you haven't got a heat gun, make a nice Christmas present. Just tell one of your loved ones. melting yet and it's going much cop more coppery it was very brown it's going very coppery now that it's melting there we go and then we're just going to cut that down so I'm going to cut it down there this side as well while I'm at it and then this side so where does that come yep I think that's about right and then this side now it's much easier to do it this way than to cut the cardstock and then try and stamp in that tiny little space um, so my message I will measure it for you measures the ruler. One po oh no, one point eight centimeters by eight point three, or three and a quarter by nearly three quarters of an inch. So let's find that little bit of copper what should i do with it oh i had a little bit of copper here yeah so what did i say it measured it measured one and an eight 1.8 centimeters so i am going to trim it to 2.2 is that right yeah, i think so I'm hoping that will give us, oh, now I've lost the Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm losing everything today. What have I done with it? Oh, there it is. Found it. Oh, now I've lost the other bit of copper, honestly. Um, oh, I think I need to go back to bed today. I don't know what's happening. There we go. That's, that's there. And then we're just going to trim off at the end there as well. So... What did I say it measured? I'm just going to add 0.4 of a centimetre on. So let's measure the right one, Jill. 8.4, so it needs to be 8.8. .8. Just line that up. It's a bit marked, this foil. This is the residue from where I die cut. And it is a little bit marked. I might just... See if I can take some of that out with my bone folder. Oh, there we go. Just that's a bit better. Yeah. And then I'm going to use tear and tape to adhere this to here.
just bit. I know I used glue on the star, but I just have a, a feeling that the Tombow might not last as long as the tear and tape as an adhesive when you're gluing to um, foiled papers, which is why I do that. There we go. Currently waiting for my Stampin' Up! pre-order from the new mini catalogue to arrive. It was, it was meant to come tomorrow, but lots of people have been receiving theirs today that were due tomorrow, so I'm hoping mine might arrive. In which case, I'm just going to take the afternoon off and play. If it doesn't come, I'm going to write on my Christmas cards. There we go. So put that in the middle there. And then that goes down the bottom there. And we are done. So two very quick to make little cards, which I think is what we need at this time of year because, um, admit it, who's got time? Um, although I am, for what's the date today? The 9th, 10th, 10th this is going out. I am a remarkably organised. There's 15 more days to go. And I, like I said, I think I've done most of my present shopping. I've organised most of the food. Still got a little bit of work to do with that. And my cards are all ready, mostly ready to be written on and sent. Right, there we go. That's my card for today. I'm sorry for all the drivel and the rambling. I know some of you like it, but if, you, if you're not one of those, then I apologise. My, um, I was going to show you my code, which I can't now find. How do, oh, well, there it is. Um, my code for December is D76EQNDC. If you put that in at the host code box as you when you order online, then you will get a free gift from me um, next month. Um, and um, yeah, and it's going. To, I can tell you. I even tell you what it's going to be. It's going to be one of these calendars. I've started decorating this one, but all the other pages are blank. You'll be getting a blank calendar so that you can decorate it. So you can use my series if you want to, or you can um, or you can decorate it however you like. I've tried to get a th I've got a theme going for each month, so hopefully that will be quite nice. Anyway, that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. All the details as usual below. You can pop over to my blog. Um, you can order from my online shop. All the links to the products I've used are there. And that's it from me today. Thanks very much for watching and I'll be back very, very soon. Bye.